What's up, weirdos? Ever heard of the White Witch of Rose Hall? Legend has it Annie Palmer was a witch and slave owner in Jamaica and the owner of the Rose Hall Plantation in the 1800s. She was orphaned at the age of 10, and after that was raised by a voodoo priestess who helped hone her abilities as she grew up. When Annie became an adult, she used her powers to seduce and marry the then owner of Rose Hall, John Rose Palmer, in a successful attempt to take the plantation. Now, after that, she remarried three more times, all ending amicably. Now, I'm just kidding. She murdered them. As if doing away with spouses wasn't enough, there were other atrocities alleged against Annie Palmer, including having a balcony built where she can spectate as slaves were whipped to death on the plantation, and mounting the head of one of her maids to the doorway of a cornhouse, and then leaving it to fester under the Caribbean sun, all because she suspected that maid of trying to poison her. That's not all. She never remarried, but she did take on slaves as lovers, and they all met the same fate as her ex-husbands when she grew bored of their company. Then she met one slave by the name of Taku. He was a voodoo priest whose granddaughter perished at the hands of the White Witch, and in an act of revenge, made Palmer one of the first casualties in a group of slave owners during the Christmas Rebellion of 1831. Now here's where things get spooky, because we weren't feeling uneasy enough already. Taku and his colleagues refused to give Annie Palmer a proper burial, so they put her body in a tomb on the plantation grounds. This was more of a cage than anything, as it was meant to keep her spirit contained. But the incantation that they cast on the tomb was cast only on two sides of it as opposed to three. Because of that, the White Witch is now free to roam as she pleases. And some people have claimed to have seen her riding her horse throughout the Rose Hall Plantation. Better than being seen shredding her skin in her bedroom after a hard day's work, as some legends have reported. But we've all been there, haven't we? All of that sounds creepy and deeply horrifying, but remember, this is a legend. And legends have to come from somewhere with a modicum of truth, right? Enter Rosa Kelly. This was the first mistress of Rose Hall, and Annie didn't take residence until 43 years after Rosa's death. And Rosa was the one with four husbands, not Annie. All of those husbands died naturally, and they were all responsible for buying the land for Rose Hall, or building the mansion, or spending all of her money before they kicked the bucket. It was her fourth husband, John Palmer, who survived Rosa's natural death. He then remarried and had a son, John Rose Palmer, who married Anne Mary Patterson, who became the White Witch of Legend when her and Rosa's stories merged. So how did the White Witch of Rose Hall become a legend of violence and horror? Well, we chalked that up to some convincing writers and one hell of a rumor mill. A missionary named Hope Masterson Waddle made a visit to Rose Hall, and he wrote pamphlets mentioning spiked collars on slaves. He also accused a Miss Palmer to have been strangled. But that's all hearsay, and it is said that he probably mistaken somebody else for Annie Palmer. The Daily Gleaner, a Jamaican newspaper, published letters and pamphlets sent in by writers placating the accusations against Annie Palmer, including the murder of three husbands. Now, they've tried to clear all of that up, but those letters and pamphlets were repeatedly plagiarized, thus feeding that mill for rumors to grind into legend. While all of that sounds like it can really ruin a person's reputation, it was a novel by Herbert de Lisser that really gave Palmer's legend wide attention and her menacing moniker. It was titled, The White Witch of Rose Hall. With that story, the lore that surrounded Palmer's alleged atrocities solidified, and the legend grew its roots into history. But DeLisser didn't do it alone. Throughout the decades, many authors have made their additions to the tale, and also one musician you may have heard of, Johnny Cash, whose song, The Ballad of Annie Palmer, embellishes many of the details of the story, and alleges that three of her husbands were buried under three palm trees near the property. It has been proven that there are no bodies under those trees. Not those trees, anyway. The White Witch of Rose Hall is a testament to cryptic storytelling and proof that we humans love a good story, no matter what evidence exists to the contrary. Now, there are different accounts of the legend and reported sightings of Palmer's ghost all over the property, including within the halls of the house. So, 
maybe there is some truth to the tale. We all love a good ghost story.